What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I'm going to share with you my entire Christian Louboutin collection. Over the past several years I've been able to collect many different styles and colors that I would love to share with you guys. So if you are interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. All right, this first shoe is a black patent leather Christian Louboutin Pigalle Felice. And the reason that I love this not only is because of the classic black color, but the fact that it is super comfortable with the shallow toe box. And that is meaning that in the front, that little piece of your toe that shows, that has a little bit more of a shallow area compared to the regular Pigalle. This next shoe is a nude Christian Louboutin as well. And this one is very similar, 100 millimeter. And again, classic with the color. And instead of the pointed toe, it has a rounded toe, but still a nice shallow toe box. Also a classic that will go with anything in your closet. Next is the nude patent leather Christian Louboutin Bianca. This was the very first pair that I ever purchased. They have so many marks, um, so much wear and tear on them, but I love them. Another tip for you guys is that if you have any marks, which I had marks all over these, you take a little bit of alcohol with a on a cotton swab and it will get almost every single mark out. So that has kept them looking great. They are a little bit on the taller side, but because of the platform in the front, it makes them very comfortable. Next is the classic black leather, again, pick out Foley's. The fact that these are so comfortable, you can see that I'm actually even running in them. These are probably the most wearable shoe simply because they're classic all black leather shoe. They are the 100 mm and one of the other first pairs that I ever purchased. I wear them with everything, jeans, dresses, shorts, leather, all white. You can literally wear them with anything. And they are a absolute classic staple that every girl needs in their closet. Next is probably my most unique pair of Christian Louboutins that I have and probably my most favorite as well. Again, these are the Pigal and they are unique because they are a black spike. As you can see, they have the black spikes in the back and they have the nice pointed toe, patent leather accents and mesh nude underlay throughout. So they have a little bit of that see-through factor, but they still have the black accents all over. The reason I love these is because it's just textures and textures and layers of different black all throughout the shoe. The spikes in the back, the patent leather, and the mesh. Next up is another classic, and this is a Pigal, but it has an asymmetrical line in the toe box. It is also a black suede material, and again, with a 100 millimeter height. These are extremely comfortable. I found that these are much more versatile than I thought that they would be. I've worn these with jeans and dresses, dressed them up and down, and I think they're just a classic looking shoe that is a very, very comfortable, wearable shoe. I also love the asymmetrical line because I think it is very flattering on the foot and makes it appear more feminine. The showstopper, and this is a very unique Christian Louboutin shoe. This is the Elastogram Metallic Pump, and these shoes are definitely a showstopper. They have a gold band right in the front, and then the black suede accents around the heel, and the elastic part that is in a crisscross shape goes around your ankle, and it has got a little bit of every color in it if you can look up close, but it is a nice metallic finish, so you kind of have that metallic silver and gold mixed, which I happen to love. All of my jewelry is mixed metal as well, so I think that's a nice, classic, beautiful look to have on your feet. I will also list all of the sizes in the description box down below for you guys to see. 
All right, you guys, that completes my collection of my Christian Louboutin shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will link everything that I can in the description box down below. Please don't forget to comment below as well on any other videos you want to see. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and find me on my social media. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.